Hi there. Welcome to the second part of this question. Now in the first part of the question, we were given that the equation of this line L1 was 2x plus 3y equals 26. And we had to work out the equation of the line L2 when it was perpendicular to L1. And we found out that it was y equals 3 over 2x. Now in this question, we're asked now to find out the area of the triangle OBC. So if you'd like to have a go at that, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, to find out the area of the triangle OBC, we can do it in two ways. Knowing that it's a right angle triangle, it's going to, this area is going to be half the base times the perpendicular height. And what I'm going to do is use OB as the base, and that would mean that the perpendicular height would be this distance across here to C. Getting that distance, OB, is very easy. All I've got to do is find out where the line L1 intersects the y-axis. And then to get this dotted line, that distance to C, all I've got to do is find out the point of intersection of these two lines by doing simultaneous equations. And the x-coordinate will represent that distance. So I'll be able to find out the air of the triangle. So that's the better method in my opinion. The other method is to work out the area of the triangle OB and down to this point here, which I'll call D say. Work out the triangle OBD. We can get the distance OD quite easily, finding out where this line crosses the x-axis. So then I can do half the base OD times the perpendicular height OB and then I can just take away the area of the triangle OCD using OD as the base again and then taking the Y coordinate of the point C as the height. Okay, so that's two ways. As I say, I'm going to go for working out the triangle OBC straight off by doing half OB times this distance here represented by the dotted line. And to get OB, all I've got to do is just say when x equals 0 in this equation. So let's just put that line down again. We've got L1 is 2x plus 3y equals 26. And so if I say when x equals 0, what we get is y will equal 26 divided by 3, 26 thirds. So therefore, the coordinates of b are going to be 0 and 26 over 3, 26 thirds. So I'll put that in up there, that that distance up there is 26 thirds. So I've got the base of my triangle now, OB. I just need that distance to C, the x coordinate C. So that's going to be using simultaneous equations. So if we just put for C essentially here, if we take our line again, 2x plus 3y equals 26 and we've got to take the other line y equals 3 upon 2x and I've got two simultaneous equations here which we'll call 1 and 2 and what I'm going to do is substitute equation 2 into 1 equate the y values there okay so therefore what we get is 2x plus 3 times y, so 3 times y, that's going to be 3 threes and 9 over 2x, and that's going to equal 26. So again, if we just come down here, what we've got then is 2x plus 9 over 2x, that's going to be a total of 13 over 2x and that's going to equal 26. And from this, I can see that I could divide both sides by 13. 13 into 13 goes once, 13 into 26 goes 2. So therefore, if I times both sides by 2, it follows that x 
equals 2 times 2, which is 4. x is 4. So I've got my x coordinate for c. So I've got this distance across here is 4 units. OK, let's just put that in as 4 units. So therefore, I can do the area of the triangle. Area of triangle, let's just say OBC. Well, that's going to equal half the base. I'm taking the base then as OB. So that's half of 26 over 3 times what would be the height, which would be 4. OK, and this cancels quite nicely. 2 into 26 goes 13 times. And so you've got 13 times 4 divided by 3. That's 52 over 3. 52 over 3. And uh, you could put square units there if you like. OK, you're not going to get any extra marks there if you do that, but it is an area. OK, so that's the way I'd do it. Don't forget then that you could work out the coordinates of D. If you did, that's where y would equal 0 in this equation of the line. If y equals 0, you'll find you get 2x equals 26. So that would give your x coordinate for d to be 26 divided by 2, which is 13. So this point here would have an x coordinate of 13. So the y coordinate of c, we know the x coordinate of c was 4. If you substitute 4 into any of these two equations, let's say you put it into here, then you find that you get the y coordinate is 6. So this distance up here is 6 units. So you could now get the area of the triangle ODB, okay, as being half the base, half of 13 times the perpendicular height, 26 over 3. Get that area. And now take away the area of the triangle OCD, which would be half the base, half of 13, times the perpendicular height of 6. You should find, by that method, you still come out to 52 over 3 square units. But of the two methods, I certainly prefer this one. Okay, 